Hey guys, I'm just Jersh and welcome back. Episode 33, I think, of the Binding of Isaac Repentance. What the heck is even this? What did I do last time that unlocked this holy cross? I don't think we ever saw this on the main one. Oopsies. Um, I don't know what I did over there, <laughs> to be honest with you. That looks kind of cool. Um, look. We're doing, uh, we're doing, uh, delete this challenge. It's like episode five in a row of attempting this challenge. We failed every single time. Today, I promise you, is the day we're going to beat it. I can't actually promise it because it's essentially purely luck-based. Bouncy F. Don't say it. Uh, it's essentially purely luck whether or not we win. We just need a wonderful assortment of completely randomized items. Uh, hopefully that happens today because, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a variety loving boy. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. That, nothing qu quite like going. Okay, sometimes they get magnetized. There's nothing quite like a nice trip to the Golden Corral. I, 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 I'm of the opinion you don't even need, even need to be. I know they're like marketed more towards like a hundred year olds. I don't think you need to be 100 years old to enjoy the Golden Corral. Now, I haven't gone in about eight years, but there's something to be said, even if it's, you know, of on average lower quality per, on a per food basis, there's something nice about being able to go to dinner and being like, you know what? I would like a little bit of General So's chicken and maybe a little bit of chicken wings and maybe a little bit of pizza and maybe just like a little bit of uh, spaghetti. I, I actually don't remember what they serve at Golden Corral. I know it's like assortments from all sorts of different styles of cuisine. So they probably dabble in, in those different ones. I, it would be my guess. Um, but there's something to be said about that variety. We got an extra pro dude. That hurt me. So I, I think I probably will... Wait, it hurt me, but it didn't actually do damage to me? Interesting. I'm gonna take this, and maybe I shouldn't have done that, because there's actually a 10 cent item I now realize, which we actually could have purchased um, if I would have not bought this. Uh, give me secret room. Give me secret room. Where do you think secret room is? Could be either top or bottom. I'm gonna go right here. You... Not very nice. That's okay. Um... Okay, I am gonna buy the 10 cent item because why not? You know, it could literally be, it could be like a brimstone or something. I don't actually know if the, it can be brimstone. I don't know how this challenge works. This this challenge is just madness. Doctor? Doctor? It's a tears up. Um. All right, so like if you have like motion sickness or, or anything like that, probably gonna want to go ahead i would suggest to you and, and just turn off this episode right now just get out of here i don't have much to talk about anyway actually i do it's been a couple of days i apologize for the um delayed response um i apologize for the delayed response i hate this a lot uh response I'm in work mode, sorry. See, I'm, I'm getting ready for the work day. You can see from the lovely, um, what do you call this thing that I'm wearing? Lovely polo. Look at this nice business casual attire. I can see forever's pretty good. Um, I, I don't like that we're constantly spawning this fly that explodes in my face. Not, not a fan of that fly personally, but here we are. Um, Response is not the word I was looking for. Sorry for the delay in uploads. It's been uh, it's been a busy couple of days. It's been a busy couple of lives, to be honest with you. I at least it feels like. <laughs> um, the last couple of weeks and months have just been madness, and I'm still like trying to parse everything together. But uh, first week of the new job went pretty well. Uh, I had a little bit of work to do over the weekend, just to I like you know I'm you know trying to make a good first impression. So like you know trying to to get a little bit extra done and you know I don't want to say I'm like out of my comfort zone or anything but this is a uh not to disparage my previous employer but like this is a real job <laughs> so I want to do a good job and like you know potentially build a career potentially uh we got I'm not gonna say what that said because it's a bad word 
two potential items in here. Can we really afford to just sacrifice HP? Whoa. I re-rolled them. I still don't think I can sacrifice the HP. Wait, I got it again? Huh? Okay, I don't know what that was, but it's fine. It gave us two black hearts, so I, I can't really complain about it, but uh, still at base damage, base tears, so that is something I'd like to fix. Sooner rather than later. Yeah, you know, just want to do a good job, basically. Like, uh, this is now my third job since graduating um, from university. So I'm kind of of the opinion Speed up, tears down sucks pretty bad, to be honest with you. Range down also pretty bad. Um, oh, dude, our little wibbly wobbly effect went away. Thank goodness. I was going to throw up. Um, to be honest with you, I, I this is going to sound dramatic. And it's definitely not true. Odd mushroom HP. I got three keys out of that. Or two keys, perhaps. This is not true by any regard, but for some reason it's how my brain feels I don't know what's happening there I think we're getting a spirit heart but taking damage simultaneously I don't know this this space bar item seems not very good um, but I have it so we'll keep it not to say the first two jobs have absolutely sucked but I have not enjoyed them and it's it's been tough I can't actually tell um, if I haven't enjoyed them because the company cultures were toxic and I had horrible employers and things of that nature. I can't tell if that's the case. There was a tinted rock around here somewhere. Um, can I tell if that's the case or if maybe this just, you know, I, I just... Sup. Take the damage. Oh, goodbye damage. Um, I can't tell if it's just the... If this is just a damage up every single room, I mean, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll keep this. Uh, I can't tell if I just, maybe, I don't wanna say like not cut out for the field, but like maybe, maybe it's just not what I'm meant to do. I don't know if I believe in fate, destiny, etc. Uh, that's, uh, wait, that's the ability to fly, dude. That's the ability to fly and a damage up every room. Uh, but sometimes I teleport, so that's not great. <laughs> sometimes I teleport. Is it like cursed eye? In dip. In dip. What is the teleport all about? That that's a little confusing to me. What what is the teleport doing? Dude, it's the shears every room. That's so good. I didn't gain the ability to fly in this room. Where's my flight? Um It's a strange one. I don't really know what this item is, but it's a one room charge and I I was going to say I think I love it. But if it's just like I can't control whether or not I'm going to suddenly teleport out of the room or not, it might be horrible. I, I do just be kind of randomly teleporting. Which seems pretty bad. Um, yeah, so like I can't win is the thing. Like I, So the problem is it seems like after I spend more than five seconds in a room, I get teleported out. And I can't beat this room in the requisite period of time. I can't beat it in time. I, it's not possible. I cannot beat this room fast enough. So I don't think I can get out of here. What's happening? <laughs> what, the, what the heck is happening? Um, I think we just have to get lucky and get teleported to our boss fight. Or I could bomb out, but then I'm just going to teleport in the next room, so... That doesn't seem like an effective... Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Oh my god, he's done it. Alright, so... Uh, this space bar item might not be it, Chief. We may have to... We may want to switch. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's a little... Um, I think it's maybe a little dramatic to be like, Well, maybe I'm not meant to work in the corporate... Maybe I'm not meant to work in the corporate world, but... Um, 
yeah, like, it's possible, like, maybe it's not, whoo, maybe it's not, uh, you know, a series of horrible bosses that have, have caused me to uh, feel disdain for my current field, maybe it's, uh, it's me, not in like a, well, I mean, kind of like it's my own fault kind of way, but also maybe I just, like, went in the wrong field, I don't know, this would be the last test is what I'm telling you, like, if, I freaking hate this, <laughs> Let me just don't use the spacebar item. Um, maybe we don't teleport if we don't use the spacebar item. So we'll, we'll try to do this without using the spacebar item. Um, it's going to suck, but I, I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and do this without the spacebar item. Um, but yeah, I, I want it to work. Okay, so I just teleport all the time. This blows. This uh, This is bad. This is really bad. I I don't really know what you... I don't know what... I, I, I can't do anything. I, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, probably should just hold R. Um, this is... It's like just the worst part. It's essentially just the worst part of Cursed Eye. I, I just teleport all the time, and I, and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I think I just lose. Devil card, Hierophant is pretty clutch. If you could teleport me out of this room, please. Only works on rooms with enemies, probably. Yep, that's unfortunate. Okay, um... I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, th this one's pretty much F. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this. I, I want it to work. I really want it to work. I hope it does. It'd be nice to just have like a. I don't love the sound that made, but hopefully that means my uh, teleportation stops. Um, yeah, I'm excited because uh, th this is actually a real company, a real job, and. Uh, okay, no, I still teleport. Okay. I'm magic mushing again, dude. Um, I don't know how I beat this run. I, I'll, I'm just going to be quite frank with you. We have created an impossible to win scenario. I, I am not strong enough to beat rooms before I teleport. If I teleport this time, I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to throw up. If I teleport... Okay, so I'm just going to hold R. So I'm just going to hold R because that's an impossible to win run, and I'm sorry. Oolbag X, Ndent Tears. Okay. Look, I apologize, um, but it would have been a waste of your time. It, it would have been just a horrible waste of your human time, and you deserve better than that. <laughs> to, than to watch a man teleport out of a pestilence fight for the next 45 minutes attempting to beat it. I don't think we ever could have beaten it. I don't know what weird combination of items we picked up there. Uh, but I, I would consider that run truly impossible to win. So I'd rather give us a, a decent shot here. I would also love some music to drown out my sorrows, please, if that's if that's possible. Could you, could you, thank you. Could you provide me with some beautiful music? This boss music will certainly fit the bill. Patrick certainly fit the bill. Um, yeah, so new job. First week went well. Didn't, uh, you know, sink the company or anything, which is good. Um... Also, turn 26 over the weekend. Not a huge fan of that, but it's okay. We don't talk about it, you know. I, I was going to say, I always joke on my birthday that I, ooh, quarter life crisis incoming, but then I like started doing the math and I'm like, I'm probably not going to live to 100. At least I certainly hope I don't, unless they change, like, unless modern medicine. Oh, great. Another teleport. Lo lo love that for me. I do love the holy mantle effect, actually. Um... I do love Holy Mantle. The question is, is it actually just Holy Mantle every room or is it like a uh, Holy Card situation? I don't know. Uh, we'll carry this down to the next floor though. Um, yeah, like I, unless like, you know, human beings evolve and like I can walk at 100, <laughs> which I, is pretty tough, I think. You, you tend to become pretty frail and decrepit. Unless that changes, uh, give me like a nice, look, let me, let me be clear. I think life is dope as heck. I'm a big fan of living. However, 
quality of life is a thing. And assuming life goes as I've seen it go, 75 I feel like is a pretty good upper maximum. So really I shouldn't be having a quarter life crisis, I should be having a third life crisis, which is a good excuse for me to just have an existential crisis, so I think I will. Um, yeah, but yeah, not a huge fan of birthdays, don't really like, um, I don't know, there's like multiple factors at play, like obviously like the getting older and like, you know, death is slowly approaching. Uh, that sucks, don't like thinking about that too much, but also like, uh, there's something about, um, I don't know, this has been a, uh, COVID was weird, demonetized by the way, not monetized in the first place, got three subscribers. Um, COVID was a strange year in that uh, I essentially feel like, and I don't just feel like, it's true, I did nothing last year. I sat in my house every single day because, you know, I'm a uh, normal person who respected social distancing protocols and things of that nature. So I like stayed inside and just didn't progress. Not entirely true, I did get a new job, which is exciting. And I got Banjo, which is exciting, except that was actually a year and a half ago, but it doesn't count because COVID. Um, so like things happened, that's a bomb, that's a bomb that decreased my luck but gave me a spirit heart. If that gives me a spirit heart every room, I have to keep it. Every two rooms I should say. Um, but yeah, like things happen, that, that, I think that's usually the, the, the thing that scares me the most about birthdays. It's not necessarily the idea. While death is definitely, like, maybe my number one fear besides sharks. I don't think it's necessarily, like, the, the one year closer to death thing that freaks me out the most about birthdays. It's this idea of, like, stagnation slash complacency. That, like, another year went by and I'm still doing the same stuff, you know? I'm a weird person where I'm simultaneously freaked out by both change and also lack of change. I need like a nice balance. Enough change. I, I don't think change is the right. Progress. I'm scared of lack of progress. Um, and sometimes you do need to enact changes to make said progress, which is terrifying. You feel prick. <laughs> What's above me? Is that Daddy Longlegs? You feel prick, by the way? <laughs> Pick this up. Tie gravity and tie. Tie gravity and tie, baby. <laughs> it's, it's, it's freaking tie, tie, whatever. You know what I'm saying. It is not a spirit heart every two rooms. It is not a spirit heart every two rooms. So we'll stick with the, you feel prick. <laughs> uh, feels like, uh, it's like one of those weird uh, comments that like Instagram influencers get. It was like, a, I think it was a meme like six or seven years ago, the show bobs type of thing. That feels like a, a similar, it's got a similar energy to show bobs. You feel prick, you, <laughs> oh my goodness. What a challenge, what a, what a strange one. Um, this run, uh, by the way, seems equally as cursed. I, it's not off to a great start thus far. I really want to get this challenge done. I, I really don't mind doing this challenge either. Like, it's fun. This room blows, uh, by the way, when you have base damage, base tears. But, you know, we'll get through it. You feel prick? Was kind of hoping Daddy Longlegs would join us for the entirety of the floor. But having Daddy Longlegs every two rooms isn't horrible either. Wow, we need some damage, dude. We, we need something. We need something. This is an unsavory situation right now. But yeah, uh, I don't know. My brain's just kind of broken because like we made, I made good progress in life uh, over the course of the last year. I mean, namely just like the last couple of weeks. Getting the new job was pretty sick, but uh, I don't know. There's still something about it. I've been saying for, you freaking... I've been saying for like eight birthdays that I was gonna have like a 12 pack by now. What the heck, dude? Why, where's the 12 pack? Like a negative six pack at this point. Come on, man. Um, yeah, I think it's par partially just uh, holding yourself accountable to goals and then uh, achieving those goals. Which is something I've definitely struggled with in the past. We're gonna die here, by the way.
In case you were curious, I think death is probably imminent. Stomp him, baby. Stomp him! Oh, we survived somehow. Undeservedly, but we survived. QK, QK, a little bit of tears up, baby. Frick yeah, tears up. And dude, mom's uh, mom's perfume is the tears up actually. Uh, but we are at one heart, so I would say this run's probably doomed, but we'll try our best. Um, yeah, so like that's all I want to talk about the birthday stuff. <laughs> I'll work through that one in due time. Don't you don't you worry about a thing, baby. Um, what else happened? I mean, we like did some birthday celebration stuff. Went out to a, oh, thank you. That was dumb. Went out to a restaurant for the first time in uh, a long time. Got some Mexican food, got some margaritas. Joined a Facebook group so that we could get some free queso called uh, The End Is Near, so let's drink beer. I didn't want to join it, but they said you have to join it to get the free queso. Which by the time, so like we, we sat down at the restaurant and I I asked to join the group and they waited until we'd already eat, eaten our, all of our food to actually accept us into the group. So then they brought the little jar of queso out at the very end uh, because we were too full to eat it. And then we brought it home and then Marie ate the whole thing. Not bitter, not salty. <laughs> Tiny tea, got a little bit of, I don't know why that thing spawned at the end of the room, but I'm not a big fan of it. Got a little bit of tiny tea, baby. Oh, dude, the, the mysterious liquid tears are amazing. Give me some more of those. More tear effects. Do we got like a $3 bill th thing going on or something, maybe? Ugh. Maybe a little $3. Okay, so yeah. So sometimes at the end of rooms, um, enemies just spawn. That seems fun. Okay, that seems good for me. So we just die. We lose. Um... Because not only do the enemies spawn, they spawn on top of me. And if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong. It seems like after the first room, one enemy spawned. And then after the second room, two enemies spawned. And after that room, three enemies spawned. So it seems like we get an additional spawned enemy every single time. Which means eventually, we're just going to have so many enemies spawned that I can't move. So we will probably die. In fact, my guess would be, I think I will probably die in the next two rooms. I, I think give me two rooms and we're probably just gonna die. And then we'll go ahead and call this one. Cause I got work starting. My watch, where's my watch? Uh, we got work starting fairly soon and uh, I gotta go get in that mindset. Sure, it could save me. Buys, buys Sharty. Buys Sharty. Sounds great to me. So, uh, so after each of these waves, is it going to spawn like a bunch of those headless uh, demon babies? Because that could be pretty bad for me. That, that could be pretty bad for me, all things considered. That could potentially be rather bad for me. Let's see. Wow, he spawned into a lot of little flies there. Okay, don't spawn directly on top of me. They didn't, and it's only two. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. It's a very small chance. I think probably we're dead uh, still because eventually those dudes are going to hit me. We got push pin. I think we got push pin. I saw one random. Yeah, there's a random piercing shot. Just kind of chilling in the grassy knoll. Don't spawn on me. Great stuff. Okay, so they do spawn. We just have no control over where they spawn. So we just have to pray they don't spawn on top of me. Seems bad uh, for me, <laughs> for my chances of survival, but that's okay. Um, we'll do our best. I'm also one hit away. Ladder wheel? Okay, yeah. Seems fun. Okay, hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you had a good time. If you did, please consider showing some support down below. Liking, commenting, subscribing helps out a tremendous deal. Share with your grandmother as always. This challenge is impossible. It's not impossible. It's just 100% luck based. You know, we gave it some good attempts. I think next time we're going to take a little break from the randomness. We're going to actually try to make it's like I said, progress. Right now I'm feeling birthday situation. I'm feeling no progress. We're going to try to actually like unlock something next time. Hey, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time.